It's beer o'clock on Real Low Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer called Jim Kin Beer Huggers Invalids Restorative. Had a drop before you go. Now it's 6.5% ABV. It is part of the Terry Pratchett Discworld Ales. Uh, it's got a black bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Good sign so far. Beer in the glass. 6.5% ABV. What are we getting? Actually, we've got a nice looking beer. Now the reason I say this is that this is the last beer from the Terry Pratchett beers that I have. I've reviewed about, probably about eight or nine of them. Some have been really good, really good hoppy beers, uh, nice pale ales, very drinkable beers, and then uh, I had a really nice stout as well. And then there's been others which have been god awful. They've been they've been flat, no flavour, and it's just been frustrating because obviously the people who have invested in this project they want it to work, and. I think they switched brewers. They went from a brewery, I think they went from Brentford Brewing Company, then they went up to Brecon Brewing in Wales. But anyway, long story short, some of them have been very good, some have been really poor. This one looks really good. 6.5% ABV, a nice one finger head, slightly hazy beer there. Nice level of carbonation. Let's get the aroma on this 6.5% ABV beer. It smells rather nice, nice and hoppy. A bit minty for some reason as well. Lots of crisp malt in there. A little bit of biscuit. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's not bad. In the scheme of things, that's not bad. Um, it's much, much better than the, some of the flatter, kind of no flavour beers that I've had from the range. But it's not quite there with the hoppy, really good hoppy beers. But, but, it's drinkable, it's fresh. I'm saying it's fresh. I've had it a while. Um, but it's 6.5% ABV. And when you get to that kind of range of alcohol, you can slightly age your beer. I've had it, in all honesty, I've had it since about March this year. We're in October. So I've had it a good seven months. I don't think it was ever an IPA to begin with. I think it's more... More a, maybe a strong ale, something like that. Um, it's a very good strong ale, actually. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm enjoying it. It's got lovely lacing on the glass. I mean, it's doing, it's starting to kind of, this is a beer that's growing on me. The more I'm drinking it, the more flavours I'm pulling out, your caramels, your, your, your hint of chocolate in there. It's a little bit nettily. It's, it's, it's nice and fruity. I, I like the kind of yeast they've used in the beer. It's crisp, it's refreshing. Yeah, it's doing everything that that this type of beer will do for you. Or you want it to do. It's a strong ale, 6.5%. So, Jim Kim Beer Hugger's State of the Art Distillery is famed for producing whiskey in Ankh-Mor pork, more pork. Uh, well, as head brewer to the Assassin's Guild, the beer and ales are respected across this world. Whiskey barrels are used for transporting the beer, they have plenty, and this imparts a distinctive taste 
which in true bear huggy fashion is aged for eight minutes to keep up a massive demand. I like that, I really like that, I think it's quite funny. Um, do I taste much whiskey in the beer? I don't think I tried or tasted any whiskey. Not really, I suppose it's a little bit woody in its own nice little way. But it's a massive improvement on some of the beers that I've had from the Discworld series. I'm a fan of this, I like this, I will be honest. I like the name, I like the humour, it's a good beer. Invalid, invalid restorative. It's worth, it's worth the 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.